Can I sleep again? <laughs> We're heading to the city. Would you like to join us? <laughs> A trip to the city? I've never been there before. They say it never sleeps, you know. I'm sorry, Chuck, but you can't go to the city. You're simply too big. Big and rather toothy. <laughs> I might have an idea. Nothing is impossible. If Chuck pretends he's part of the dinosaur exhibit at the museum, then he can come with us. Hooray! I've got a new museum exhibit. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm tired. Chuck, maybe until we reach the city, you can drive yourself? Chuck is busy. He's rehearsing for his debut role. Carry on. Uh, uh, something like this? Or like I'm running? No, it won't work. Your eyes are expressionless. Uh, ah. You can go further. We don't have all day. can see a car wash. If there's nobody there, you can get something to drink. Oh, oh I am hot. What I wouldn't give for some refreshing swamp water. Huh? Oh. <laughs> it tickles. Oh, oh, it tickles. <laughs> Yup, it tastes fine, but a little too much so. And here on our right, we have the neighborhood grocery store. And on the left is the post office. And that is a traffic light. Post H. Traffic light. Thank you so much. I would never have seen any of this without you. Keep quiet. <laughs> Looks like they're building a new wing. Here's the museum, but I forgot, today is Sunday. Sorry, guys, but the museum is closed. Uh. <gasps> Exhibit for Dinosaur Museum. Do not touch. <laughs> Maybe he's afraid of getting tickled. Well, actually, I'm not afraid of anything. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, please forgive me. I forgot to be quiet. It's disgraceful! Uh, uh, talking artifacts uh, that attack innocent people. I'm going to complain about this. Only first, you had better get me out of here. Anki, we need your help, please. There's nobody driving, but the crane is moving. Something strange is going on. Oh, the crane is going to fall over. We're not gonna let that happen. Unky, see if you can hook it. Thor, get supports. Chuck, make sure it doesn't fall. Jerry, keep an eye on the load. Go, go, Turbo Zords. Thanks for looking out for me, Jerry. Turbozors, we go on three. All together. One, two, three! <laughs> A job well done, Turbozors. Time to go home. I'm pretty thirsty again. You think they still have water at the car wash? 
Stupid dear. In fact, they're one of the most useful medicinal plants we know of. That's so cool. There's more. Nettle plants can be used to make all sorts of delicious meals. There's soups, salads. Salad! Can we have nettle salad? Yes, we can have salad. I just have to go make it. While you wait, I suppose you can have some ice cream. Be sure you don't eat too much or you'll get sick. Yay! Maybe nettle plants can also be used in desserts. That could be good. <laughs> Don't forget what she said. We can only have a little bit, just a taste. And have you washed your hands? Yep. <laughs> Be sure you don't eat it too quickly. Mm -hmm. That can make you get sick, too. So what you're saying is Jerry just ate way too much ice cream, and now he's sick? Then the problem is that when Jerry is sick, he's not able to become a drone. <gasps> That's awful! What if our grandmother sees him? We better run home now. Go, go, Turbosaurs! <laughs> I've just had a realization. Being sick has its advantages and is actually quite nice. I think I'll stay sick for another week. What's this I hear about you being sick? Uh, it's true, my friend. I am terribly sick. <laughs> I can see that. I think our friend is in need of an ambulance. No problem. I'll take care of it. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, what's going on? Where are you taking me? For millions of years, we dinosaurs have known about the medicinal properties of the common nettle plant. They can help with all sorts of diseases. I'm suddenly feeling better! No! You see? 
Look at that. You recovered immediately. You're right. I feel like myself again. At last, I found my glasses. <gasps> and now things should start looking normal again. <sighs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, it's not polite to laugh at a pterodactyl who's been sick. <laughs> we'll catch lots of fish, and Grandma will cook them up. I bet I could eat two whole fish myself. Oh, yeah? Gotta catch them first. Wanna have a contest to see who can catch the most? Okay, I accept your challenge. Unbelievable! Look at all this litter! It's really awful! What a shame! Let's go find somewhere else to fish! Wait! We can't leave it like this! If we don't take care of the environment, then who will? So, what's today? Isn't it Wednesday? We won't be done until Friday! Not if our friends help out! Oh, hello. Looks like you've been fishing. But where are all the fish? There's a problem at the lake. There is so much litter. It's gross. We decided we had to do something. But we need some help. What are you two waiting for? Let's get our friends to help. 32, 33, 34, 35. 35. <laughs> Try and beat that. Huh? One, two, five, 45. I won. <laughs> you call that counting? That wasn't fair. What makes you say that? What number comes after 11? That's something like seven. Eight? That's what I thought. Bull, it wasn't on purpose. Hi, everyone. We sure need your help. There's a big problem at the pond. Wow. See? Ah, uh, yuck. Don't worry. We'll clean it up. We'll sort it into what's biodegradable and what's not. Food waste is biodegradable. Plastic is not. It's important we separate the two. Bio what? Biodegradable. That means it will break down and decompose. <laughs> Food waste should be collected and buried. And as for the rest, let's place it in the correct bin. Chuck, please put plastic here and glass over there. <laughs> Bull, can you gather the rest into a pile? Uh -huh. Can you dig a big hole? Then you and Unky will flatten it out. Jerry, can you coordinate us from above? But what about me? I want to help, too. Once we bury the trash, you can help Unky and Thor level it off. Go, go, Turbozors! Lovely tread marks. And that does it. Now Bull can deliver all these treasures to the appropriate bins. Don't forget, plastic and glass go in the recycling bins. Where's Chuck? The pond looks much better. It's time to fish. I thought you two might enjoy a boat, which I made. Chuck, you are a true genius. And all that I needed to construct this boat was one, two, eight, twenty, 
127 bottles. <laughs> Wanna have a contest to see who can catch the most fish? I accept your challenge. We really did a super job. Now it's so beautiful here. Huh? What if people come here and litter again? Not to worry. I'll patrol from above, and if I see someone littering, then I'll get this signal to Chuck. You're up, Chuck. Now that ought to make people think twice about littering. But today's the last day it's showing. Let's go, sis. Come on, I know you want to see this movie. Sorry, Peter, we can't. There's no way we can go. Oh man, why not? Huh? huh? <laughs> That's our reason. We can't leave Florian alone. <sighs> Why, there you are. <laughs> we were wondering where you two were. We were just waiting and waiting. Our grandma had to go into town, so we have to watch Florian ourselves. We have to stay here. We can't do anything fun. <sighs> Don't mind Mr. Grumpy Pants. He wanted to see a movie, so now he's gonna sulk about it. What if you got someone else to watch him? Who? Well, I'm great with kids, and this tiny human seems comfortable with me. You really think you can watch him for a couple of hours, Joe? Thanks, that's awesome. No, no, tiny human. <laughs> What now? Oh. Kids, are you hiding in my garden? I have your ball. Here you go. <gasps> Florian? Huh? Oh. Oh. What are you doing? You could get spotted. I lost sight of the tiny human. Now he's gone. What? Nobody panic yet. Joe, let's go alert the rest of the Turbozoars. <laughs> Florian couldn't have gotten very far. Hmm? Huh. Huh. He's not back there either. He couldn't have gotten into the house, could he? We searched every room in the house, too. We can only hope he doesn't go too far. Hmm? He's crawled into the back of Aunt Nora's car. Huh? <gasps> Hang on! We gotta follow them! We should figure out where Aunt Nora's headed. You're right. I think we gotta split up. Chuck, you're great, but you don't have speed on your side. I think you should stay in the forest. You guys get to have all the fun without me. Maybe you should stay here, too. Someone needs to be here in case Grandma comes back before we do. <laughs> go, go, Turbo Zors! Why'd you stop, Thor? There's a roadblock here. We need to find another way. Uh -huh. Ha, ha, ha. 
Look, Unky, that car. It's the one we need. They'll be so happy. One car delivery complete with tiny human inside. Guess what, you guys? We found the car that has Florian inside. Oh. We should probably put that back in its parking spot and see if you can fix the flat tire, too. Yes, that's right. I need a new tire. <gasps> Or maybe a whole new car? Hello? You must help! My car has been stolen! Oh! I guess it hasn't been stolen. And my flat tire's been repaired. What a strange day! What a shame. We've had such a terrible drought. These plants need water. Well, it looks like you're gonna get what you need. Huh? Aren't those rain clouds? Oh, wow. Those aren't just rain clouds. That's a real thunderstorm. Peter, Katie, we should get inside right away. Wait. First, I need to collect these apples. Huh? All right. Here I come. Worry. There's nothing to be afraid of. Aww. Thunder is just sound. It's lightning that you should be afraid of. Only because lightning huh? is uncontrolled electricity. Uh. Sometimes it can cause a fire. If it strikes something like wood, I learned about it in school. Looks like the rain's letting up anyway. Let's go out. Wait! I see something in the forest that looks like smoke. Where? There. Doesn't it look like a forest fire where the lightning struck? Grandma! Forest fire! I'll call the fire department. With just firefighters, can they really put the fire out? Dunno. I don't think they can deal with this on their own. Let's see if our friends can help them out. All right. It's all hands on deck to stop this fire. Putting fires out can be hard. Sure, but nothing is impossible. Here's where the pond is. Maybe we can make a canal, like this. If it goes over this way, we can stop it before it spreads. And what if this canal thing doesn't work? Look, this thing could spread to town. I think we need to warn people. Then you and Joe should go do that. Tell them to be ready just in case of evacuation. Fallen branches back here. If any of those catch fire, it could be real bad. Chuck, get the branches. <laughs> Unky, see if you can collect the bigger log. How can I help? You can track the fire's path from above us. Mm -hmm. One? No, north and west. 
Thank you for telling me. I'll pack a bag and be ready to evacuate. <laughs> a forest fire, you see. Ah, oh, well, it seems my apples will be soon baked. <sighs> Such a shame. Kind thing you're doing, warning everyone. Be safe. Thank you. This is just a precaution. Let's hope the firefighters put the fire out soon. And why is one sticking its tongue out? They're called emoticons. <laughs> They're like a language. See the smile, Grandma? Katie is just letting you know that she's in a good mood. So now you're going to know all about text messaging. Are you going to respond? Of course I'll respond. Now where are the smiley faces? Aha! Hmm. <gasps> Grandma, what are those strange symbols you sent me? What do you mean? She's the one who sent them first. From now on, when I need to say something, I won't use words. I'll only use the smiley faces. Well, you look at this. It's high time someone removes these from the road. Save water. Don't let it drip all day. This wall needs a paint job. Last but not least, please water. Let's see if all these emoti cans will do the trick. Hot. Want to go to the lake? Huh? Ah. <laughs> go, go, Turbozors! Take a detour! Hold it! What's all this? Let's see. Why are there pictures on these rocks? That's weird. There weren't any yesterday. Do you think it's a message? If so, the message is that someone wants these stones dug out. That's right! I bet that someone wants these stones to be dug out so they can be cleared from the road. Who's this someone? Maybe that's their symbol. It looks like a broken dumbbell. Maybe a retired athlete. Do you think we can dig out the stones and move them? Are you kidding? Of course we can! is to decide where to put them. How about we take them to the lake? We're heading there anyhow. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Another message. Our mystery person strikes again. One's got a shovel. Do you dig it? And the other has some kind of broom. Let's go there. <laughs> 
Hey, look! I'm a gardener now! Stop! Those are roots! This tree's upside down! Much better! That's done! Some water, please! That ought to do it! We did lots of important chores. Those messages were useful. What? Grandma just sent me a message. <laughs> what does it mean? She wants us to weed the new trees. Look, it's a broken dumbbell. So, all those notes we found, I wonder, were they from her? Good point. They, they were, were all from, from Grandma. Grandma. They couldn't have been meant for us. So then who were they meant for? Let's ask her. <laughs> oh, what's this? Dinosaurs? What is going on over there? Huh? Peter? Dinosaurs? Who knew a Moticon? <laughs> Help! Huh? He's been taken! He's gone! Kidnapped! Huh? Now hold on, just start over. Why are you panicking? And who's taken? Thor! They took him to the city. Here's how it went down. This trail makes me kind of nervous. The highway's right there. What if someone sees us? Huh? What the? <laughs> <laughs> Greetings. My name's Thor, and this here's Unky. What brings you to these parts? He's not a real dino. Probably made of plaster and wood. Huh? Hmm. Ah. Uh huh? It's over here, right? Huh? Somewhere. Ah, uh, there. He didn't hear the humans in time, so he didn't manage to turn into a car. He just froze in place, and they thought he was the fake dinosaur they made. I still don't understand. How did that lead him to getting taken? When they mistook him for the fake dinosaur we saw earlier, they took him to the city instead. Apparently, they're building a dinosaur theme park downtown, and one of the statues fell out of the truck. They think mm -hmm. Thor is that statue. He's all alone, and he could be in danger. <gasps> well, guess we don't have a choice. We'll have to bail him out. Huh? <laughs> go, go, Turbozors! and check things out. And you guys can wait for us in the park. They've been gone a while. <laughs> You know, real dinosaurs didn't look anything like this model. Right? It's all wrong. Huh? Over there! <laughs> ah, you guys made it to the park opening? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so boring. None of these dinosaurs look real. They should be scary. Look at this one. Hmm. Or these. Huh? huh? Boring. <laughs> Just people in costumes. Let's bounce, Bruno. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, you're here. I don't know how much longer I can last. It's been two hours since uh, I ate. Can you step off the rock? I can't. They put me in cement. <laughs> don't worry. Nothing's impossible. I've got a plan. So here's Thor, and here's us. Unky, can you pick up Chuck and truck for him and lift him up and over? That way he can dislodge Thor. Should be able to. Then it's settled. Tonight, Thor will get swapped out with the fake dinosaur from the forest. Which is where, exactly? We need it here. I remember where we found it. I'll take you there. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, Unky, did you forget where it is? 
I did not. I'm just having trouble remembering. Quiet! Mm -hmm. Someone's over there. Hmm. <laughs> I found something very suspicious. Come with me, children. I found proof dinosaurs live here. I present a specimen. Uh, that's not a real dinosaur. That's a statue, uh. Mr. Charlie. Huh? I guess. Oh, well, I only thought... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Bull, make hmm? sure the ground stays hmm? level for Unky. Then Unky brings over Chuck. Then he'll get Thor's feet unstuck. We'll need to get it done quickly and quietly. So Unky brings the fake over the fence. Then we put the fake on the cement, and everyone gets back over safe and sound. Mm -hmm. Go, go, Turbozars! idea for a park. Maybe I'll come back sometime. Well, have fun with that. I've had quite enough of this place for a lifetime. <laughs> Thanks for the jailbreak. Let's not do this again. <laughs> and this sign means no stopping allowed. That's right, or else your car will get towed away. Where are the others? We were expecting everyone. They'll be here soon. It's not like them to forget. SOS! Huh? Something terrible's happened. Please help me! Jerry, what's going on? Deep breath, deep breath, deep breath! Huh? Jerry, tell us what happened. And by the way, where is Joe? That's what I've been trying to get out! Uh, she was kidnapped! She went into the city and they took her! They took her away! I think I know what happened. She didn't know about the sign, and so they had to tow her away. Don't you worry, every problem has a solution. Cherry, lead the way! Go, go, Turbosaur! <laughs> Chuck, a robot like him is sure to attract attention. Chuck's nothing to worry about. In the city, people are so busy that no one will notice him. You ready? Then let's go find our Joe. Now, where could she be? This situation calls for some eyes up in the sky. Jerry? I'm on the case! Oh, there you are. Welcome to your rescue. Jerry, they took me away. What are we going to do? Don't panic, Joe. Superhero is my middle name. Have no fear, we're going to get you out of here. The coast is clear. Time to let Chuck out. Ooh, little crabs in here. <laughs> I found Joe. Shh, she's up on the second floor. Well, shucks, I can just break down the whole wall. Joe can escape through the hole, and then I can close it back up again, and no one will ever know. How will she get down from way up there? There aren't any stairs. It's impossible. 
Ah. Nothing could be simpler. I think I've got it. We just have to build a slide that comes down from the second floor. Here, take a look. You're a genius. Chuck, go ahead and break the wall and that part of the roof. Unky, go wait inside so you don't get in the way. Thor, Bull, go gather some dirt so when he's done, we can make a smooth slide for Joe. And what should I do? Watch and make sure no one sees us. Somebody's coming! Again with the construction. Digging, digging. Will it never end? Is he gone? Oh, I can breathe again. So flatten the slide. do without such friends. That's what friends are for, to help you out when you get in a jam. But next time, make sure that you follow this sign. What does it mean? Ay ay ay. I will now teach you the rules. Lucky those rules don't apply to me. Team, hi! Good afternoon, <coughs> Mr. Charlie. Hello there, children. <coughs> Cars out here in the woods? That's odd. What are you kids up to out here? Just helping my sister learn soccer. Toby, here, boy. Nothing to see here but a bunch of junk. <laughs> Talk back to me, boy. You're going to the vet today. And I don't want to hear any more sass from you about it. Okay, all clear. <laughs> hey, what's so funny? The old man called Joe Junk, but I think the dog kind of likes her. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm certainly not junk. How many Sorocalists do you know who can turn into convertibles? While we're on the subject of being great, how impressed was the dog with my wingspan? Be honest. <laughs> You're back from the vet already? Where's 
Toby. He's gone. Gone? Chased after a motorcycle. It slipped his leash. I looked for him everywhere. But I guess he couldn't hear me call him. We've got to go bring Toby back. Of course we'll help get his dog back. We'll do whatever we can. Do you have any ideas, Thor? Well, downtown's a really big place. We should split up to increase our chances of finding this dog. Good plan. Go, go, Turbo Thors! for the poor thing. All alone in the big city, he could be miles away. <gasps> could it be? That's him, for sure. Must have fallen down somehow. Chuck, you'll be in charge of grabbing Toby. Okay, bring the pipe out of the ground. Chuck, you'll be in charge of grabbing Toby. As for Joe, we'll need those headlights to see what we're doing. Turbo Thor, move out! job to do but me. I could have come up with a good plan too. Be careful. Careful with those giant hands. <laughs> now there's something that history books won't tell ya. I'll take a wild guess. Are Boris and Bruno teasing you again? Yeah, Aunt Nora bought them a brand new robot. It's all we've been hearing about. Wow, it's so 21st century. Yeah, he's totally cool. If only you two had one, we could play together. Of course, you would have to be able to handle modern technology. <laughs> <laughs> I saw two. Let's just say it's not like you and me. That's right. That gives me an idea. Chuck, this calls for your special talent. Do you get my drift? Yes. Go, go, Turbo Zorbs! <laughs> I am a robot. My name is Chuck. <laughs> you should be in the movies. Oh no, scary. <laughs> Don't be afraid. He's not dangerous. one talks. Of course he can talk. He's state of the art, the latest model. He was a gift from our grandmother for good behavior. He can do all sorts of stuff. Look, check this out. He is great at dancing. That's amazing. He does exercises too. And he can 
pick stuff up. <laughs> hey, you want him to pick you up? <laughs> no need to worry. I can control it. Let me see that. You don't control it. This is for your toy car. <laughs> then that means it's moving by itself. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> It's coming! The scary robots after us! sure that no one trips and falls. Bull just fell asleep. Thor and Chuck are on the job, though.
<laughs> Last but not least, Joe! It truly did, you're right. We had a couple million years. But, uh, you're always in the woods or underground. Don't you get bored or lonely? There's a great, big, beautiful world left to see. Yeah, it does get kind of boring every now and then. And lonely. But we have a solution. Bull! In this form, we have more freedom to go where we please. So wonderful! Hang on. You're telling me this whole time, when we're downtown, and we see cars driving around the streets and stuff, it might have been you guys? That's all right. Mind-blowing! <laughs> Look alive, folks. A human's approaching. Understood. Until next time. Afternoon, Mr. Charlie. Hello there, children. Seen any good mushrooms around here? Not here, Mr. Charlie. Have you? Nothing interesting here. We were just on our way home. See you later, Mr. Charlie. Get home safely, your kids. This time last year, this place was teeming with fungi, and now, not a single one. What in tarnation? Hmm. Some weird graffiti. 